Last few weeks, we've been tracking a move by some Portland Public School students to have school resource officers removed from campus. Well, Trevor Alt went beyond the headlines to find out what a normal day for an SRO is like and instead captured a violent example of why the district says those officers have to be there. Officer Tommy Stoffel has been the Lincoln High School resource officer for three years. Good morning. But for the first time on Thursday, he had to break up a fight. It sounded like a, a rumbling by the water cooler yeah. and, then, uh, and then just flailing. <laughs> Earlier this week, a group of students called on PPS to remove school resource officers from their campuses. So we wanted to see what the job actually entails. But every now and then we need to step in and intervene and say, hey, I don't think those are the best decisions you're making. Who wants to see Dylan get put in handcuffs? Well, Officer Stossel is equipped to handle large-scale situations. He told me most of his work is positive interaction with students and de-escalating smaller problems. He carries a taser and a handgun, but in the school, he's only ever used his handcuffs, and that's only about twice a year. Those little fires are constantly being put out that otherwise would become bigger fires. We were there Thursday when he helped put out one of those fires. He was greeting students in the hall between classes when this happened. Hey, 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 knock it off. You guys, stop now. Hey, that's enough. Break it up. Break it up. Stop. Now, the first thing you notice is Officer Stoffel's restraint. The first technique we officers use to de-escalate is our voice, telling people to stop. Hey, are you okay? Officer Stoffel said this is the first time he's seen a fight at Lincoln, but Principal Peyton Chapman told me this is exactly why she feels school resource officers are necessary. You know, things do happen occasionally. Fighting is rare, but I feel better actually having Officer Stoffel here. Reporting in downtown Portland, Trevor Alt, Coin 6 News.